Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Trending news. EFCC reveals what must happen before Tinumbu can be investigated. Shegun Owosonya, an activist popularly known as Segalink, has asked the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to conduct an investigation into a bullion van that allegedly brought a large tranche of cash into Bola Tinumbu's Lagos house on the eve of the 2019 presidential election the anti-corruption agency has requested petitions on the politicians displaying wealth that cannot be justified tinumbu was a strong ally on president momodu Buhari and a national leader of the ruling or progressive congress the commission had posted on its social media that it is empowered by the law to investigate anyone suspected of having illicit fund. Section 7 of the EFCC Establishment Act 2004 gives us the power to investigate properties of any person if it appears to the Commission that the person's lifestyle and extent of the properties are not justified by its source of income. The commission tweeted. Acting to the tweet, Segalink queried the anti graph agency for keeping mum when evidence of a bullion van was seen moving into the Bodilium residence of Tinumbu. Segalink tweeted, I am sure this section only gives you an erection when it concerns Yahoo boys and opposition politicians. While the miraculous self aggrandizes in bed with those the head of the EFCC worships are immune to investigation. Daylight bullion van exhibition of body loan is justified right. During the 2019 presidential election, a bullion van was seen entering the house of Tinumbu in Ikui when the politician was quiz about it by journalists he dismissed the question saying he had no public office and could choose to spend his money as he wished the anti-craft agency however defended its records insisting that it had secured convictions of former governors and other political exposed persons it stated that not to tour the lines of politics as you may wish but the efcc has successfully investigated persecuted and secured over 1.245 conventions between 2015 and 2019 which included two former governors several top governments functionaries both in the past and present dispensations an adamant Segalink, however, posted the picture of bullion vans entering Tinumbu's home on the eve of the 2019 presidential election. The activist who spearheaded the end sacks, the movement said that the ESS should take action on the bullion vans incident before it would be respected by Nigerians. He tweeted, Let me splash some colors on this to make it simpler to comprehend your tweet claims that all the efcc requires to hunt down citizens is the display of wealth that cannot be justified what justified the relocation of cbn to ashiwaju's house on budilions on the eve of the election viewers what is your take on this news my own opinion is that i don't think there should be petitions because when Yahoo boys and opposition, opposition of um, politicians are involved, you don't wait for petition. But when APC politicians, especially 
kittens and their cronies are involved, they start scratching their heads. What are the EFCC still waiting for? They should make a move instead of uh, investigating. EFC, I think EFCC is working for corrupt politicians and victimizing the citizens. What petition are you waiting for? What is the petition? What petition do they request it before busted or busting into Yahoo boys' houses? Now they need petition to carry out their jobs on politicians. EFCC have harassed so many people by night. Those that EFCC harassed who petitioned them. So, with all the evidence available on Tinubu's um, billion rand election, so why can't they use that as an evidence instead of waiting for petition before they take action? Viewers, what is your take on this news that you just heard? This is my own opinion. If you have your own opinion, if you have any opinion or contributions, don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click the subscription button as well as the bell button to get more updates. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.